there are white feathers all over the place. It's been a couple days since I've been back here and I had this bag sitting right there with two seagulls on it but as you can see it's just poof and the feathers go all the way back to where my fingers pointing it's like literally a pillow fight back here all right there's one bird this is the second one that I picked up smaller gull it was a darker colored gull so my girl must be down here it's like feathers 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 it's like feathers over there and... yeah yeah here's where she went It's like an explosion. I guess I won't be getting her skull. <laughs> this would have happened a couple of days ago by the look of those feathers, but then again, she was out in the rain for a while. But I had already collected a lot of her feathers, so we're good that way. Um, another thing I noticed here. There's a rabbit foot there. Yeah, that's a rabbit foot. And there's the other rabbit foot. And I had not put a body here. So, I'm not exactly sure where that came from. Those bones weren't there in the fall. Ah, something else very interesting here. that there and there. It's definitely... I'm gonna say that's got to be a pellet because feathers don't go through feces like that. Although that one does look a lot like coyote scat. I'd have to examine it more closely than I'm gonna want to right now and I just I'm not gonna do that. yeah something had a party back here somebody had a pillow fight back here <laughs> see what else we can see here nice path And yes, if it's picking up on the microphone, those are spring peepers. It's only the fourth night that they've been out. I'm quite excited about that. It means spring is here. I don't see anything else. The little feathers there. Nice trail here. So it's been coming through and going up under there, back and forth. Rabbits. There's rabbit scat there. But of course, rabbits aren't going to be having pillow fights with seagulls. <laughs> Some lamb bones there. More seagull feathers. Another seagull feather right there. I don't know if the wind's blowing it or if it's stuck on the animal that's been eating it. It's parts of a little porcupine. That one there was a quadriplegic that I picked up last summer. 
Yeah, nobody's using this den anymore. They had started digging this den when I first started using the body farm. And then because I'm coming back here quite often, they figured, oh, there's too much human activity here for us to have a nest. So they stopped, stopped digging. I think it was a fox. Because we do have a vixen in the area. And I think I just found a skull. I think so. Let's go take a look at that. Seeing a white thing right there at the tip of my finger. Pretty sure that's a skull. It is. Isn't that neat? Oh, and I know exactly whose skull it is. I've been looking for this one. That one there belongs to the porcupine who's laying right there. I went all through the woods last fall looking for it. I couldn't find it. Well, I'm glad I found it now. Nothing's going to take off of that, so I'm just going to leave her there for now. But that's a skull from this girl here. So I wanted to examine that skull, so now I know where it is. It's the only, the only logical explanation for that skull being over there because the quadriplegic I put her skull in there and none of this has been disrupted and that's the only porcupine that's back here except for this little girly here and she's too fresh this is the one that I picked up on the shortcut very little decomposition at all on her but Pretty much, I just wanted to show you the pillow fight that happened back here. Um, we have a lot of excitement on the body farm. I really should have taken the heads from them gulls, though. I didn't expect anything to take them. Because usually, nothing touches birds on the body farm. I have no idea why. That's just what happens. But... Their heads may be amongst this mess, maybe underneath the, the bag up there. And of course, we have our mama deer. I have not showed her yet. Um, got her last month. I picked her up in Harrigan Cove. She had triplets. Anybody who's following me on Facebook saw the announcement that I had got a permit to have twin fawns that my sister's husband, he had hit a doe and she was pregnant. I went down to see if the babies were savable, but they were far too young, and they were they had been killed instantly. But on my way home from getting the permit for those ones, I picked her up. Of course, it was a Friday, and the department was closed, so I couldn't report her until Tuesday. So they came out on Tuesday and cut her open triplets, so I have them as well. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with five fetal deer, but I have them. I know I'm going to wet preserve the first set of twins and the triplets. I think I'll wet preserve them as well in alcohol. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the triplets together or not because they're each in different gestations. Um, it's only because there were three of them there wasn't a lot of room, so they were developing a little more slowly, a little smaller. So there's Mama. She was a year old. It's really hard for me to estimate her age for some reason because her teeth do have a lot of dark staining on them and I couldn't really open her jaw a lot when I first found her. So what they did is they just cut the flesh right off her so it opens that right up. She's a, an okay sized deer. But that's pretty much everything that's going on on the body farm right now. I came back to to look at Mama, and then I saw all the feathers and figured might as well do a video. 
Anyway, I'm going to go take a few photos and we'll see you guys next time.